That's a special weapon being used to fight a dangerous fungus by doing something that humans can't. Zapping a growing threat before it can infect vulnerable patients. The spread of a highly treatment resistant super fungus has raised serious concerns in long term care facilities and hospitals around the country and here in southeast Michigan. It kind of sounds like a movie here the way they're dealing with this, right? Because part of the problem is the fungus is really extremely difficult to eliminate from the surfaces. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now with an enlightened solution and it's being implemented by one hospital system. Yeah, Kim and Karen. So we're talking about Candida auris. Now it can kill 60% of the patients who become actively infected, which is why we're so concerned in the hospital. Now we already use extremely potent disinfectants, but now ultraviolet robots are proving to be extra effective for a local hospital system. We've invested millions of dollars in our robot program for our health system. Jennifer Ritz is a nurse and the director of environmental services at Henry Ford Health, and she says their patients continue to reap the benefits. Every new emerging pathogen that comes out, we're finding out that the UV uh, robot does actually kill those germs and bacteria. The use of ultraviolet Xenex robots grew significantly during the pandemic, but not all hospital systems adopted this technology. The light strike robot has a xenon lamp. When it pulses, it puts out broad spectrum, high intensity ultraviolet light that penetrates the cell wall, deactivating the cell and preventing it from replicating. Morris Miller is the CEO of Xenax. More than 40 universities and hospitals have published about the efficacy of the light strike robot. They've shown that it can kill bacteria, viruses, and spores. And having the extra level of disinfection can be important. When we go into a candida auris room, if we had a patient, we would clean it with a sporocidal agent, which is bleach most likely. And then we bring the robot in to do any extra adjunct treatment to the room. Extra cleaning that Henry Ford Health is proud to provide. These are extensions of our team and we protect our robots because as you mentioned, they're very expensive and we need them to keep our environment clean and safe. Now I want to be clear, Candida auris is generally considered most dangerous for immune compromised people, the elderly, those with serious chronic illnesses and people with implanted medical devices like breathing tubes, feeding tubes, or other catheters. It is not a threat to people in good health. Now you said not all hospitals have adapted this technology. Why is that? It seems like it's a no-brainer to, to have yeah. this. Well, it kind of is, but you know, cost is a big issue here, sure. of course. You know, the units actually start at $100,000 each. But I also have to point out, you know, while this is another layer of safety, even this isn't perfect. Germs that are out of the reach of the light, they're not going to be killed. So you kind of have to do a little bit of everything, but this extra layer is better than yeah. doing not doing it, I should Anything. say. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Doc.